motion paths and speed graphs, one of the most important subjects in After Effects. Right now, I'm going to show you that I have a leaf shape and the leaf shape goes down real fast and then takes its time to go back up just like a roller coaster. And I have here the leaf shape, the path, and I have the speed graph. And in this tutorial, you will learn all that. Now, roll the intro. Hello, guys. Motion paths. Definitely a very important subject in After Effects. And it's important that you understand it. And this is how to use. For example, if I create any shape, for example, the leaf shape, and I'll center the anchor point to our ellipse. Now, if I create, for example, a position and hit position keyframe, move forward and bring it up, this is what happened. It creates a handle here. And this handle can be changed if I move a little bit more for it and I bring down you can see that this path is curved now I want you to go to edit preferences in general right here you have a option default spatial interpolation to linear I want you to check this option and hit OK. Now let's create another shape. Let's create this shape right here and give a different color. And this will be a kind of green shape. OK. I will bring back the, the anchor point to the center just like we did before. And here I will hide this other shape. Now I'll press P for position and I'll keyframe this. And I have a option to go, let's go to one second and bring down. Now you can see the handle already gone since we turn on that option. And if I go to two seconds and bring this back it up, and let's do this a few more times. A few seconds and bring it down. And just once again, four seconds and bring it up. Now it's straight. Uh, our path is straight. Why is that? Let me explain to you. So if I select all keyframes, right click and go to keyframe interpolation, here on the second line, I have an option to base here. If I click that and click OK, this is what happened. Now we have a smooth curve and this follows the curve. And if I move the handle, the handle is broke. Simply, I move the way I want, but the other side doesn't move together. What I can do about this is to right click and I can go back to keyframe interpolation and here's change to continuous base here. And right now, if I move the handle, both sides move. If I press out and keep holding it, and now I bring this handle, you can see that the handle is broke and doesn't move together anymore. So the continuous base here is this, and you can make a mix of both by breaking the handle. So if I break the handle here, now you can see the path is special, right? And we can do a lot of animations with it. So if you're trying to create animation where the object has to go in straight lines, is the reason of this option right here so when we went to to edit and preferences, 
we change to linear. So default now is linear and before was Bayesian. By default is actually Bayesian, but now we set back to linear. And now I'll choose just Bayesian and press OK. Now what I want to do is um, show you the speed graphs. Uh, but before that, I'd like to mention if I go ahead and change our anchor point to here, for example, our shape will actually move like that instead of going through the center. And we can move our anchor point to anywhere, and this is what happened. Okay? So now I'll return two steps here, and let's check the speed graph. What happened if I simply open here? Uh, this is the graph. You can see going straight line and finish. But if we make a, a easy easy, which is pressing F9, you can see we get a special keyframe, and this is what happened. And to see this, you need to make sure you are on the speed graph. Edit speed graph option right here. And I can zoom in our timeline to see it better. So now what's happening, it, um, let me show you this. I select this, this option right here, or this one right here, and bring it up. Now you can see that the keyframes get really close together to the shape. There are a few dots here, and then the space between the dots is bigger. They are more far apart. And what it means is it's starting slow, and then it's gaining speed. I'll play the animation for it again, speed, and back to slow. So when it's down here, it's it's slow and then fast because it's going through more keyframes okay so what we can do here is for example if i am here or this one and then this back here and then this back there now we make it slow when it's going down and then fast, sorry. We make fast when it's going down and slow when it's make, going up. For example, you see it's slow and then this is the power of the speed graphs and the power of motion paths. Very important to learn. I hope you had some better understanding about this very useful for a lot of things and just keep making beautiful animation. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.